morning guys um welcome back to my vlog channel and if you are new here click the subscribe button so i just woke up in case you can't tell from my litter like i'm so puffy um because i rolled out of bed like two minutes ago so i figured i would take you guys through my actual morning routine with work like how i work because um i don't know i mean i just feel like i should and Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh my gosh. I didn't sleep good last night. I tossed and turned. Um, but I'm just going to take you guys through my morning routine. And then. Because it, it's a little different when I'm working. Because I still. I mean my drive is 40 minutes. And so I have to be up and kind of moving a little bit early. And so I'm still in bed. Which is why I'm. Um, talking a little bit softly. <laughs> so, hold on a minute. Okay, so the first thing I do every morning is weigh myself. I'm trying to kind of understand the way that my body like the weight fluctuates and I'm kind of starting to figure it out and it's very interesting to me so I weigh myself every day um, so I need to do that first okay sorry I'm like walking so fast so first thing in the morning I make my breakfast and my coffee because Clearly, I, could, I couldn't function without that stuff. We let our recycle get so built up. And I said something to Sam yesterday. I was like, God, it, it feels like it's been so long since you took the recycle out. And he was like, nope, it's been, been a week. Uh, you just order a lot of crap. <laughs> yeah. I like a lot of foam in my coffee. Good morning, Shaylee. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so I'm going to quickly eat my breakfast and then I'm going to get ready and I'm going to time lapse that. I can get ready on a work day in like, like eight minutes. I'm so proud. I could cry. Like, I don't think I've ever been able to do it that quick, but um, I don't do like full glam, obviously, but eight minutes is pretty good. What? 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 Okay guys, so I just finished up getting ready. Uh, I have got to go get dressed like now. I've got two minutes to spare or I will be running late. So we'll talk later. Okay, I swear the worst part of the orthodontist isn't even that they 
mess with your teeth and say you're like freaking upside down in that chair. Okay, so I just got back from the orthodontist. I'm gonna update you guys real quick because I didn't have a chance to update you yesterday. I did not finish vlogging. I was such a mess. I just, it was one of those days when you get home and like everything happens. And so this is a day later. I just got out of the orthodontist and I was so nervous. Like I could have thrown up because I was like, what if they tell me that my teeth aren't doing good? What if they tell me that it's gonna take longer? And I don't know orthodontist talk, but I could tell from the way he was talking to her that he was very happy with the way my teeth have moved. So I got a thicker ass wire and my teeth already are hurting. I've literally had this wire on for like two minutes. I can already feel it. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna head home. I think it's just me for dinner tonight. Sam is going to go play soccer with some friends and he won't get home till late. So I'm just gonna tell him to probably pick up dinner on his own. So I don't know what we're gonna cook. What we gonna cook, y'all? I like a bug in these glasses. I feel like this just, it just scrubs how I feel. Like, I'm dead after that workout. So, I finished up my workout and I think I'm going to have a protein shake for dinner because my mouth, oh, I, I thought it hurt last time. Yeah, my mouth's foolish. It hurts so bad this time. And it's only been like two and a half hours since I got back from the uh, orthodontist. I mean, I get why it hurts. Like, it's teeth moving. The reason that obviously your jaw hurts, they're, they're, your teeth are moving. But like more than that, they just like uh, push and pull. It'll be so worth it, I just know it. I don't even remember what day I got my braces and it was like May 20 something. What was it? It was May 29th. They told me that the pain you feel when you're uh, a grown-up getting braces versus a teenager is a lot worse because like mentally you're prepared for it like I went in today and I was like okay I know this is gonna hurt when I leave and like when I was a teenager I just didn't care like you know I don't know I guess I care now but I'm very aware of the fact that my mouth hurts and it's giving me a headache and I am being such a baby Also, let me tell you what my lovely husband did today. So I woke up this morning and I, you guys know like if you get a crick in your neck, obviously it hurts like all day, right? But then if you get a cramp like in your body somewhere, like your leg cramps or your hand cramps, it really hurts. Like you're like, ow, 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 I've gotta get rid of this cramp, but it's temporary, it's not like permanent. I woke up this morning and I was laying like very bunched, like I can even still feel it right now. I was laying very bunched up and all of a sudden I like shot up out of bed and I like, I guess I extended my neck and I felt the muscle in my like neck do like this. And so it started to cramp and I was like, ow, 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 ow. And I literally got so, like I was in so much pain and it was just like so, like it was making me dizzy. I just wanted the pain to stop that I like started to get lightheaded and I was like, I think I'm gonna pass out. And my husband just wakes up and he goes, can you be quiet? In his defense, I think he was half asleep when he said that, like I don't think he realized what was going on, but he just rolls over and goes, can you be quiet? And here I am about to pass out. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? I was like, you gonna get your butt in trouble. So really quickly while I get out the stuff to make my protein shake, will you guys tell me what your tips are for dry eyes with contacts? And I don't mean like necessarily just drops cause I've done drops and it just, it does not like, it does not help. I, so let me show you the contacts that I use. That, that may help a little bit. Hold on. Okay, so these are the contacts that I use. 
and I have like chronic dry eye but he just told me to put dry eye drops like the eye drops in that will help if I had to put an eye drop in my eye every single time it like hurt or was blurry or I was aware of the contacts I would literally be putting them in my eyes all day and I've tried so many different types of contacts you guys those are hundreds of times better than the others so if you have chronic dry eye and you wear or I don't even know if it's like chronic I mean he said it was but whenever you say chronic it sounds like it's severe like it's dry eyes but it's not like you know it's not that bad um but it is when I put my contacts in I just don't know what to do because it, seeing is a very important thing you know you kind of need to do that like normally and so um I just never know what to do because I'll be sitting at work and I'm like and people are like what is wrong with you well I can't see also, while I get all the stuff, I do want to tell you guys, tomorrow I am going live on Facebook. No, I mean on Instagram. Um, I use my Facebook. Uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm just going to start doing this, just as kind of like a direct get ready with me. Ooh, I just got water everywhere. Because I like IG Lives, and if you don't, that's totally fine. But I like them. I think they're so fun. Like, I watch lives like it's my job. Like, it is a part of my full-time job. That's how many lives I watch a week. And, oh my gosh, this thing. Um, and so I just really enjoy them because it's direct interaction. And so I'm going to start doing them while I get ready. You guys can ask me any questions about anything and I'll answer them. But also I have a really exciting announcement that you're gonna wanna watch. Especially if you're a bride planning a wedding, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Just saying. My husband left me to go play soccer. Which is why he has to make his own dinner tonight. Man. I must have had an extra cup of sass this morning. I don't know what my deal is. So I'm actually going to be getting stuff to put on top of chia seeds. Have you guys ever had like chia bowls? It's like you put the chia seeds in almond milk or any kind of liquid of your choice. You mix it up and then you put like fruit on top, oats on top, different things like that and have it for either like a breakfast or a snack. It is really good, but I don't have like fruit and it would need to be like with fruit like it's not they're not sweet or anything like that um so it definitely needs fruit so you should definitely try that if you haven't but my whole point in saying this is I put chia seeds in my um protein shakes and you don't get that same like effect where they like bubble up and you get to eat them but they have the same benefits because you're still like taking chia seeds and they do still go into the liquid so it's really good for you so this is the protein shake that i use let's see this is the one that i use or like the most and this is the one that my husband likes it's the cookies and cream the cookies and cream, if you are a cookies and cream fan, is really, really good. However, it's not good mixed with like the banana and the PB2 powder. So you will put this in there. And then I use frozen bananas that I have bought from the grocery store, cut in half, and then frozen myself. Because, I don't know, one, it's cheaper. And two, they just put processed stuff in some of the frozen bananas and even if you find organic bananas, it's just easier to take a gallon size Ziploc bag, cut your bananas in half and freeze them yourself. So, let's get to making this. So I take the protein shake. 
and I put the whole thing in there. It is 30 grams of protein and 160 calories. And it is so, y'all, legit, if you've ever had a Chick-fil-A milkshake, chocolate milkshake, that's exactly what it tastes like. Like I had one, I had a chocolate milkshake the other day and it was the worst idea ever because I can't have dairy, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do it, right? And later that night I had one of these and I was like, it literally tastes like the exact same thing. Well. So you do have to take the bananas out a few minutes before you um, put them in the actual blender thing because they're going to be really, really hard. It's just easier if you pick them up. But don't let them get like mushy because then it's gross because you're like freezing and unfreezing and freezing and refreezing bananas. And that's just, don't do that. So then I take two tablespoons of the PB2 powder and this is the chocolate one. And it really does taste like peanut butter. I get that question sometimes. Like, does it actually taste like peanut butter? Yes, it doesn't have that same thick consistency, obviously, because it's a powder. So if consistency is what matters to you with peanut butter, don't try that as a substitution. But if you just want the taste, then yeah, that 100% is going to give you the taste of peanut butter. Okay. And then I put my blender on puree because it's like making a smoothie with ice and stuff. So you definitely need that with the frozen banana. So, yummy. It makes, I don't know how full this thing is, how big this thing is. I don't know how big this thing is. I'll link it in the description bar below. I got it off Amazon. But if you will see, my protein shake fills up the entire thing. Actually, I probably blended this one a little much. It's like very smooth. But, and it does come with a straw. So good. And this will be dinner. I don't know how exactly many calories it is. Hold on one second. So total, it is 330 calories for, um, the whole thing, which is not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of it so I know. I'm gonna add it to my app. And then name your meal, protein, shake, done, save. And then I'll add it to my calorie count for today. Okay, so I'm completing my diary. For the rest of the day, the only thing that I will eat or drink will be water. Okay, so I gotta edit a video. And I have to clean, and I don't know which one I wanna do first. I think I'm gonna clean. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower. Um, I'm going to show you how I get my hair to last for like, I think this was eight days that I went without washing my hair. So I have a full post up on the hair products that I use. I will link that in the description bar below if I can remember. But I'm gonna show you, like I get out of the shower, my hair is wet, and I style it. And I'll just show you kind of what I do to treat it um, and all that kind of stuff so that you just, you know. So that's what I'm gonna start doing right now. Okay guys, so my face is a little bit red because anytime I'm like working with heat, my rosacea is not a happy 
not happy um but this is what my hair looks like so what i do is i like to curl it super curly the night before seriously Zeus? no 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 um super curly like the before i go to bed and i won't like wear it up or anything i will just sleep on it like normal um and then in the morning i'll get up and it will have fallen a little bit and it will have been like the pretty natural wave that i want i find that my hair holds like the wave better if it's done with a curling wand versus a curling iron but i realized about midway through filming that i actually already have a video up on my main channel on how to get like volume to your hair so i'll link that in the description bar below as well but I mean, this is really just kind of how I how I do my hair. So it's very, very wavy, as you can see. Um, I don't know if you guys can really get a good angle of it, but I mean, it, it's just, there's a lot of it. And so I sleep on it and it'll be a pretty flow in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed now, finish up a few blog posts, read my book, and then I'm going to sleep because your girl is tired. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here because we are so freaking close to 1K. Love you guys so much and I hope that I see you in my next vlog.